Today's sunshine note is titled, Old Desert Peat. For this is what the Lord, the God of Israel, says, The jar of flour will not be used up, and the jug of oil will not run dry until the day the Lord gives rain on the land. 1 Kings 17.14 One of my favorite Arizona desert legends is the story of Desert Peak, a hermit who mysteriously lived alone in the wild, dry desert. One day, a weary traveler was lost in the desert. Parched, dehydrated, and almost dead, he came upon a water pump standing on the dry, cracked ground. Water, at last, he grabbed the pump handle and pushed it up and down, but no water came. Then, nearby, he saw a jar of water with a note signed by Desert Pete. It said to pour the water into the pump to get it started. Then it would produce an unlimited supply of water. The man suddenly had a dilemma of trust. If this was a joke and Desert Pete was a myth, then after pouring out the water he would die of thirst. If he drank the water, he'd live a while longer, but the small amount would not be enough to get him out of the desert alive. He decided to trust Desert Pete, so he poured the precious water into the dusty metal pump. Then he grabbed the handle. He pumped as fast and as hard as he could. The pump sprang to life and gallons of cool, clear water poured out, more than he could ever have imagined lying beneath the dry desert dust. The story of Desert Pete reminds me of Elijah and the widow at Zarephtha. The drought was so great that people were dying from lack of food and water. God sent Elijah to this woman for food, but she had only enough flour and oil to make one last meal for herself and her son. Then they would die. Elijah claimed to be from the Lord and promised that if she fed him first, her flour and oil would not run out until the drought was over. Like the desert traveler, she was faced with a trust dilemma, and she chose to trust. Then, no matter how much flour and oil she used, there was always more. Later her son died, but through Elijah God brought him back to life. The small meal the widow made for Elijah brought her much more than she could have ever guessed. Deciding to serve God is still a trust dilemma. Will it be worth it? You'll have to turn your back on some of the fun and exciting things life has to offer. But think of it this way, what do you have to lose? When you serve God, you have everything to gain. When you choose another way, you end up with experiences you'll regret. It happened to King David. It happened to Solomon. Stick with God. He'll give you much, much more than you could ever have imagined. May God bless you today.